Hello students, I am Miss Amrita Henry and I will be teaching you history subject. First of all, a warm welcome to all of the students of class 8. Students, now let us start with our chapter 1 that is a period of transition. But before I start with the chapter, I would like to tell you what is history. Actually students, history is the subject in which we study about our past in the present to build up or to make our future. In order to, uh, to correct our mistakes which has taken place in our past, we need to study history in our present so that we may not repeat those mistakes in our future. Broadly, if we divide history, it can be divided into three parts or in three periods that is ancient period, medieval period and modern period. So children till now you have already studied ancient period and medieval period in class 6th and in 7th. Now this year you are going to study modern period. Modern period in which you will study about the national struggle which has taken place in our country. But not only this Along with this, we are going to study the things which has taken place in around the world, or around the world, whichever events or in any uh, specific thing which has taken place around the world, that also we are going to study in this period, that is the modern period. So, start with the modern period. We are going to start with the first chapter, that is the period of transition. Modern period. The 18th century is taken as the starting point of the modern period in India. On the other hand, in Europe, it started from 16th century. So, as you can see here children, in India, the timeline or the period for uh, modern period was, uh, it started from 18th century, whereas in Europe, it started in the 16th century. Now, the sources to know about the modern period can be classified or can be divided into two types or we can say we can divide the sources into two parts first primary sources and secondary sources in short i can say primary sources are the original sources and secondary sources are dependent on primary sources now let us study in detail primary sources a primary source is anything that gives us direct evidence about the people, event or phenomena. Like if anything which is uh, from which we get direct information. For example, if I, am, if I see a painting or a sculpture or a building or a monument and the information which I get directly from that or a coin. So, information which is collected directly from that, that is considered as the primary sources. And secondary sources, when a secondary source is anything that describes, interprets, evaluates or analyzes information from primary sources. So, let us take an example as I have told uh, in, primary source, in uh, primary sources like a coin. So, a coin can be a primary source which tells us about, which gives us the information about the king, about the place, about the century, about the material, about the economical benefit or economical status of the king or maybe about the people around uh, that particular time period. But if I, if, it, if I talk about the secondary sources, so any book or any article which is written on that particular coin will be the secondary source. So, anything which is dependent on the primary source that is known as the secondary sources. Now, let us see the examples. Primary sources can be paintings, sculptures, photographs, autobiographies or government reports. Secondary sources were the reports, reviews, articles, books written by historians. Now, from where these historians will, how they will write the books, definitely with some of the fact which they have got. 
so historic uh, historians will get the facts from where from the primary sources now in order to start the chapter in detail the first topic or the first sub topic which we are going to take children that is the renaissance it is also known as renaissance we can we can pronounce this word renaissance as well as renaissance both will be correct okay renaissance also will be correct and renaissance will be uh, will also be correct so renaissance was a cultural movement that spanned roughly the 14th century from the 14th century to the 17th century so it was a cultural movement which initiated or it it, it flourished from the 14th century to the 17th century the word renaissance literally means rebirth rebirth so when a when a thing can take a rebirth definitely when the birth has been taken and when some more changes are brought in that particular period or particular time then it is known as the rebirth of the time or rebirth of the things so the renaissance thinkers were quite rationalist they were quite rationalist that means they were quite logical because they used to think like if this thing has happened why that particular thing has happened on that time what is the reason behind it and what what are the consequences of it for an example if uh, newton has observed uh, maybe a uh, apple coming from uh, uh, dropping from the tree so the question raised that why it dropped down and uh, why it didn't go up so the curiosity which was brought or the logic which was uh, uh, or the curiosity which has brought him to know therefore we got the uh, the law of gravity so there was a reason reason behind it or there was a logic behind it so uh, rationalists were the people they start asking people no they ask people to not to blindly accept whatever the church told to them now why the church word is over here because in renaissance time or before than the renaissance time there was a lot of influence of the church churches on the people why church because generally the christian majority of the christian people was there was there in the europe so therefore there was a lot of influence of the church Uh, and the pope on the people and whatever church or pope used to say people had to follow now the rationalist people were those people those who started uh, raising the questions against those uh, practices which were going in the churches or they started finding the logic behind if any statement was given by the church or by pope or by the priest so people began to observe experiment and use their reasoning to arrive at the conclusions secular themes now and the depictions of the human form became the focus of painting and sculpture so this is the feature of the renaissance renaissance that now in due to the rational questioning due to the uh, inqui- inquisitive mind now people uh, have changed the way of thinking they have changed the way of perseverance now uh, in spite of going for only christianity or in spite of going for an, anything which was told by pope or bishop or by the priest now people started using their own mind their own common sense and they started using the secular themes for any kind of art and architecture secular i hope children you must be knowing secular means where uh, all the religion are treated equally or in which any specific religion is not talked about and depictions of human forms why human forms are emphasized here because before than this only god or heavenly things were being discussed uh, in the painting sculptures and art forms but now humanistic nature or human forms were given much more importance so this is the spe- special features of the renaissance period which brought a great change in europe now Uh, in uh, renaissance period we can notice there were the famous writers sculptors painters and scientists those who have evolved in this period let's take an example like michelangelo who was he 
he was an italian sculptor painter architect and poet so as you can see the first picture is students so it is the picture of sistine chapel now i have written the word fresco over there now what is fresco fresco is a kind of a painting which is done on the wall or on the ceilings of any of the building or any of the room so here this fresco painting was done in the sistine chapel along with this the sculpture of the pita you can see a sculpture is made in which it is shown that the mother mary is holding the body of jesus christ and the third picture that is the creation of adam uh, that is again uh, it depicted in the form of fresco okay so all these things were made or it is famous because of the michael angelo because he initiated it then as famous name we know william shakespeare he was a great english playwright poet and actor who is widely regarded as the greatest writer in english language and the world's greatest dramatist along with william shakespeare we know leonardo da vinci he is considered one of the most diversely talented individual wide widely diverse talented because he was uh, talented in many spheres like his paintings his uh, great works you must have seen notice uh, i hope you must have seen the painting of mona lisa yes the the special picture in which it is shown na the eyes uh, wherever the eyes of the paintings are there if you observe the eyes of this painting it seems that the eyes are, are watching you from the all the sides so it's a kind of a 3d picture so you can imagine in europe in the 14th 17th 16th century at that time this technique was used to make the painting then another painting of leonardo da vinci is the last supper last supper uh, it is very important picture or it is very important thing for the christians how because it it shows it depicts the last supper which jesus had before his crucifixion along with this another picture is there which is a which which is the picture which shows the human um, human body it is a drawing which represents da vinci's concept of the ideal human body uh, body proportion that how and which type of body proportion a person should possess so all these are the examples or the great people those who have, those who came up during the renaissance era in europe those who have made the thinking of the people the the ideology of the people quite different what was prevailing ever before along with all these people we we know about the nicholas Col Col uh, copernicus also i hope i think you must have heard about the name of copernicus he was an astronomer who proposed a hel helicentric system that the planets orbit around the sun so he was the first one who who told us that around the sun only uh, the planets revolve around the sun so this theory was given by the copernicus then galileo galilei as he is known as the father of observational astronomy as well as father of modern modern physics now uh, who was galileo or what did he discover craters and mountains on the moon the phases of venus jupiter's moon the stars of the milky way and the first pendulum clock was discovered by galileo or it was invented by galileo therefore the true spirit of renaissance was represented by the sculptors writers painters and scientists of this period in the art work now another point which we are going to discuss that is the reformation the reformation was a very big movement which has taken place in europe the new spirit of inquiry opposed the practices of the roman catholic church now as i have told due to the renaissance era the new big beginning or the new type of thinking came up among the people or people started inquiring or they started questioning to the religious places especially to the churches 
due to which there was a lot of questioning which was done in the catholic churches in the in the roman catholic churches which has led to the movement in christianity which is known as the reformation the reformation movement is also known as protestant movement why because it was a protest against the illegal practices or i could say the practices uh, which were going against which was going in the churches so it was a way why how people reacted how, how people protested against the people or the about the work which uh, wrong work which were done in the churches so reformation was a religious movement of the 1500s that led to protestantism the movement began in 1517 when martin luther a german monk protested against certain practices of the roman catholic church about 40 years later protestantism was established in europe so how re re reformation or protestantism brought a great change in the religion christianity or in the christians after the protestant movement whole or we can say due to the renaissance era, era or due to the renaissance the change which was brought in the society or the mindset of the people it divided christianity into two halves first part that was of the roman catholic who were the old traditional believer or those who used to follow what pope or what the priest used to say on the other hand we had the protestants those who were protesting or raising the voices against the mal practices or the wrong uh, traditions which were going on in the churches so christianity till date today also it is divided into two parts one catholics and the other protestants now uh, we'll talk about the protestants the person who led the protestant movement was martin luther he was a monk in germany who raised his voice against the mal practices which were taking uh, in the, which was going on in the churches and he attacked the practices of blind faith blind faith of the people on the religion he asked the people not to blindly accept whatever the church was telling them rather he urged people to read the bible and follow its teaching to understand to read the bible and to understand rather uh, in spite of believing what the other people are saying uh, we should inquire we should see by ourselves that whether the things which have been told to us is correct or not so the reformers regarded the bible and not the pope as the supreme authority now i have been repeating again and again the word pope children now who is pope pope is the highest religious head of the christians so the um, martin luther protested against the corrupt practices of the church officials okay and along with martin luther the other names those who protested were ulrich zwingli john kelvin and henry viii all these people they joined in together and they raised the voice against the catholic uh, the churches and the mal practices which were going in the churches which is known as uh, protestantism or reformation movement now the voyages of discovery the voyages of discovery were the sea voyages to other continents made by christopher columbus sir francis drake ferdinand magellan and captain cook and others in the 15th to 18th centuries now what are voyages voyages are the sea journey which is uh, travel th uh, journey which is done through the sea that is known as the voyages so during the early 15th century the most important trade routes between europe and asia was an overland route that passed through western asia the trade with asia was very profitable and extremely important for the europeans so all of the people of the world wanted to do the trade with asia 
even india was india is as we know india lies in the continent asia so therefore uh, you must be knowing the colonial the britishers have invaded they wanted to get the india why because of the economical purposes they wanted to do trade with india as well so here among the other things they needed asian spices to preserve the meats so textiles from asia was also a popular item of trade after constantinople was conquered by ottoman turks so we know there was a war which has taken place in constantinople which was conquered by the turks which were known uh, ruled by the uh, people ottoman so the overland route that means the land route was blocked it was no longer available for the trade so it, it became mandatory for the people to find the other way to reach asia for their trade purposes so the need of an hour or this was the reason why people wanted to get the trade wanted to get uh, another route so that they could reach asia and do the trade with them because now uh, trade uh, now the land route was not available due to the war which has taken place in constantinople and as ottoman turks have taken charge of it so they did not allow to go pass through their land so this reason has led many of the people to explore uh, the world and go on the sea voyages therefore it is known as the voyages of discovery and while going on the voyages they have discovered many many places around the world and to reach up to those places they needed some of the instrument or they have used some of the instruments with such as quadrant astrobel mariners compass so now what is quadrant quadrant is an instrument for measuring angles especially to check our position at sea and to look at stars same way astrobel is a instrument which is used for reckoning reckoning means to making an estimate of time and for observational purpose it is used mariner's compass is a compass which is used in navigation so with the help of all these instruments people went on the sea voyages to find out many more new places and in order of this they have found many explorers like bartholof diaz who founded southernmost tip of africa vasco da gama who discovered our country india christopher columbus who searched for america and later on amerigo vespucci again reached to america he also reached to america so due to all these things people could connect or uh, more of the countries or con- continent could connect from one part of the world to the other part of the world so we have seen how the renaissance and the reformation has brought so much change in the world in the in specifically in europe due to which even each and every part of the world was interconnected or it was uh, it was uh, it it brought all the people together i repeat or i conclude whole of the video in just two lines that the <clears throat> or i would summarize like this like uh, the sources divided into two parts primary sources as well as in secondary sources which tells us about the modern europe europe we had seen the era of renaissance or renaissance which was the time of rebirth where people became quite rationalist the way of making art uh, sculpture painting and um, any way of art art uh, was changed the way was changed the thinking was changed and due to all these thinking change the change in the thinking it gave birth to the movement which is known as the reformation movement and due to the reformation movement people started re- exploring the world through the different voyages and through which people could connect from one part of the world to the other part of the world Okay children i would like along with this uh, all of you to read the chapter then only you will be able to understand the concept well thank you